I've been having a lot of conversations about this lately and that's why I wanted to make sure to just uh, give you maybe four or five quick tips on what you can do. But first you need to understand the way the buyer looks at your home. That's the buyer's perspective is the most important thing. I always tell a seller when I meet with them, go outside uh, in front of your house, put on the buyer's hat, right? You have the seller's hat on now, put on the buyer's hat so you can see it from their perspective. And so uh, the way that the buyer looks is actually six different uh, rungs in the ladder or six different levels of, of what a buyer looks at uh, in order to actually walk inside of your home. The first thing is gonna be the city, right? They're gonna look at the city, uh, I like the city, I like the location to the stores, the schools, all that. Then they're gonna look at the area, make sure that the area is safe, right? Then the third thing they're gonna look at is the subdivision. They're gonna say, do I like this subdivision? Can I see raising my kids here? Then they're gonna actually look at the street, right? Okay, do I like the street? Are there uh, are people taking care of their yards, right? Is it clean? And then people are gonna look at the front of the house. So curb appeal actually is very important because if I've, I can't tell you how many times I've been working with buyers and we drive down the road and we get in front of the house and there's some deferred maintenance and it's not in good shape and they say, just keep driving, that, that happens. Uh, and then after all of those things, you have to score high in all of those areas, right? Then they're gonna see the inside of the house. And so you're, people aren't even gonna get to the inside if those other things aren't good. Now, you can't control every single one of those things, city, city area, subdivision, street, but the curb appeal and inside the house, you can control. And so here's just a few quick tips for you uh, to get your house prepared. Now, I always tell people you really wanna be preparing your home for sale 45 to even 90 days before you're ready to list it. And here's why. When we meet and we talk and we do a room by room review in your house, let you know what fix ups we recommend, uh, whoever's doing that with you, you're gonna need time to get those things done so your house can be shown in the best light. There's, there's no second chance, right, at a first impression. So some of the things that we look at when, uh, when getting your home ready to, say it, to sell would be decluttering. The first thing would be decluttering. I always tell people, just think about, uh, you want your home to show like a model home. So declutter as many pers personal things as you can, uh, no picture frames, uh, anything that is in the way of the walkways, we wanna keep those clear. So I, I say take about 70% of the things out of your house. Uh, and often what happens with the, the homes we list, people walk in, they're like, does anyone live here? Like it happens all the time. Uh, so that's the first thing. Uh, the second thing would be uh, work on some small projects. So when we go and we walk through people's houses and we do a room by room review, we have these different projects uh, that we would give them that will help maximize their profit. So these projects uh, can really help you make more money. And so we'll give those recommendations and some of those projects might be uh, painting a room or uh, fixing a uh, you know, broken stone in the front or whatever it is, these small projects um, can help maximize the profit. Uh, after that, it would be uh, lighting. So lighting is very important. Um, what happens is when people walk into a house, it needs to be inviting. And if it's got old, uh, just kind of soft lighting, it's not gonna feel as inviting. And I know it, it seems counterintuitive because it, wouldn't it be more inviting like a coffee shop? Well, we want your home to be bright and airy, right? So we want daylight, actually. We want daylight lights, nice and bright. It helps with the photos. It helps with everyone to, to think that there's more natural light than there actually is. Um, so that's a nice little tip or trick. You know, LED daylight lights can really go a long way. Uh, and it's a, a low cost that can really help make help you make a little bit more money. Uh, and then the last thing would be odors, right? Any odors that you have, if you have pets or children, uh, if you have carpet, there's gonna be a lot of odors that you might not smell anymore. I have four kids and a dog, so I understand. I have carpet in my house uh, and upstairs. And so you wanna do everything you can to minimize those odors, uh, getting the carpets cleaned or just um, getting rid of any old dog beds or anything else. Uh, and then you can use essential oils or candles uh, that are you know, light scented. I like the citrus uh, type of scent because it's fresh and clean. Uh, that's a great thing that you can do. You can, if you have a whole house fan, you can also run that and get some fresh air in the house. Huge, change the air filters because they're probably dirty because who really changes them every 90 days? Uh, and so those are just some quick tips for you guys to get started. I have lots of other content on this so that you guys, and if you want a specific step-by-step -step, uh, on exactly what to do, 
feel free to reach out to our team, Brandon Leon, Realtor with Better Homes and Gardens. We'd love to help uh, prepare your home for sale and talk about how to sell your home for top dollar in today's market. Brandon Leon, Better Homes and Gardens, and good luck on your home sale.